Now today we're gonna to be talking about the number one thing that kills great music. Make sure you stay tuned. Now this particular episode was sponsored by R&B hip hop group Shy Lu from South Africa with their new release Young Material. Make sure you go by and check out their new single Young Material located in the description box below and or can be found on iTunes, Spotify, Google Music and YouTube Music. Now in today's quick tips we're going to be talking about one of the most dangerous mixing and recording killers, ear fatigue. We're also going to be talking about the symptoms and ways to prevent it. See, ear fatigue is a condition that happens during and after long hours of mixing or recording sessions. It's usually a tricky situation because one minute you think you've nailed that perfect mix and the next day when you come back, it's completely jacked up. Now, if you mix and record in recording studios or maybe even your own home personal studio and don't want to damage your ears and your reputation, now, in case you're wondering what ear fatigue feels like or want to know some of the symptoms, let me run down just a few. Now, some of the symptoms are most likely, and not in this order, things like inner ear pain or the loss of sensitivity. That's when you find yourself needing to hear or have more volume uh, in your music. Uh, where you really want to turn it up more loud because you don't think you can hear it properly. And then thirdly would be the loss of clarity. When everything starts to blur or already starts blurring and, and you really can't focus on what sounds different or what sounds loud. But the ear pains is actually the thing that you feel while the rest simply affects your uh, perception of sound. Now you're probably asking yourself, what are the possible ways to prevent or avoid ear fatigue? Okay, well, we're gonna help you out. The first thing you'll wanna do is take frequent breaks. This is pretty much the easiest way to minimize the likelihood of getting fatigued or to the point where you're unable to discern frequencies efficiently. And what you wanna do is basically take 10 to 20 minute breaks every two hours and basically get out of that chair, you know what I mean? Get some fresh air and get some refreshments. That will give your ears a chance to rest. Also, try to use monitors and headphones, preferably the open black headphones and or the ear in headphones that I talk about and you can find more information in the eye above. Also, make it a point to try to find some kind of assistance from other producers or engineers to help you hear things that you might have missed while you were in the chair. Now, something else you really need to be careful about is mixing at loud levels, which also causes sensory overload. Because when you mix too loud, you most likely are going to experience the fatigue sooner. And too low will make you strain to hear different frequencies which you need to concentrate on in order to make the right decision for your mix. Now, my quick tip advice would be, the best decision is to leave a mix in progress and get on it the next day. Basically, step away from it. You know, walk away and just wait till the next day so you can finish the project. You need to know that when your ears are fatigued, your brain gets fatigued as well. And that's when your creativity starts to fail. Now we've come to the end of this quick tips video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure you click the bell after you subscribe. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment below if you feel there's any information that I possibly have left out or missed. Remember, when it comes to mixing, less is more. My name is SG1 on behalf of Music Millionaires TV and the Grammy Award winning team, The Peacemakers. And remember, music is life. We out.